Patella. It is the largest sesamoid bone in the body and is also called the kneecap. It is situated in front of the femoral condyles and develops from the tendon of quadriceps femoris. It is triangular in the front and flattened at the back with the base facing upwards. Parts It has two surfaces, anterior and posterior. Three borders, superior, medial, and lateral. It also has an apex. Anterior surface it is convex and lies subcutaneously. It has multiple small foramens for nutrient vessels. It is covered by an expansion of the quadriceps femoris tendon. A prepatellar bursa lies between the skin and the bone. Posterior surface. The upper three-fourths is smooth and articular, whereas the lower one-fourth is rough and non-articular. The upper articular part presents with a large oval facet. This facet is divided into lateral and medial parts by a vertical ridge. The lateral part is larger and articulates with the lateral condyle of the femur. The medial part articulates with the medial condyle of the femur. The lower non-articular part is divided into the upper area and lower area. Superior border it is also known as its base, and this border is thick. Medial and lateral borders. Apex, it is sharp and directed downwards. Determination of the side. The apex faces downwards. The anterior surface is rough. The lateral part of the facet on the posterior side is deeper and larger than the medial. Ossification. The patella undergoes ossification and cartilage from numerous centers which appear between 2 to 6 years and complete fusion by the time of puberty. Clinical Correlation Patellar Fracture This is a break in the continuity of the patellar bone. Fractures may be caused by a direct fall on the knee, road traffic accident when your knee hits against the dashboard, sudden contraction of the quadriceps femoris. The bone can break in many ways and in many different places. Types Stable fracture This type of fracture is non-displaced. The pieces of bone might remain in contact or may be separated by a millimeter or two. The bones usually stay in place during healing. Displaced fracture The broken ends of the bone are separated and do not line up. The joint surface may also be disrupted and uneven. It often requires surgery to put the pieces of bone back together in place. Comminuted fracture. The bone shatters into three or more pieces. Open fracture. The bone breaks in such a way that the bone fragments stick out through the skin or a wound penetrates down to the bone. An open fracture often involves damage to the surrounding soft tissues and may take a longer time to heal. Open fractures are particularly serious because once the skin is broken, there is a higher risk of infection in both the wound and the bone. Therefore, immediate treatment is required to prevent infection. Clinical manifestations Bruising Severe pain Inability to straighten the knee Inability to walk